Alright, welcome to the next episode of March Mad Hot Air Plays Outer Wilds. And today we are going to see if we can get to the core of Giant's Deep. There is this uh, space station that we also need to check out, but uh, I figured that'll be... I don't know, it's somewhere in the itinerary. There's a lot of other things on Giant Steep we need to see. And I am going, again, way too fast. Uh, let's just hope we don't hit an island on our way down. Came close, but managed to miss it. Okay, now, in order to get down below this current, we have learned that we need to find a tornado. And I think it's the tornado that's uh, spinning clockwise as seen from the bottom. So I guess it's going to be, most of these seem to be right to left. We need to find one that's going left to right. These seem to fit the bill. Okay, oh, hey, this one, this one, I think might be it. All right, there we, there we go. Okay, um, that does seem to be what we're looking for. Now, I can't just come up to this guy with the ship. So, and I wouldn't have expected him to be. Uh, the right size to fit a ship in anyway. Definitely don't want to step outside. Although, I'm not actually sure whether or not we die. Um, we do seem amphibious uh, in the water. Alright, let's see if we can get down to... Oh! Okay, I guess that one's already below the shell. Um, I guess we'll figure out what's going on with you. I hope I'm hoping that these uh, these tendrils seem to be electrically charged. And I'm worried that I'm going to get zapped if I try to enter them. I am. How do I use this jellyfish for insulation? Can I go up underneath? I'm not sure how much of this jellyfish is charged. It's possible, it looks kind of like the electrical signals are only on the outsides. I'm not sure, even if that is true, that I'm going to be able to actually pilot myself up through this. Oh dear, hang on. Oh, okay, back up, back up. And back down. Okay, and I got the shell below me too that I gotta worry about. Okay, let's try, let's try this, okay, and then, don't hit the sides, or the front. Okay, I think I'm in this portion, so if this jellyfish does dip down below the shell, we might get protected. And if we don't, we're gonna die, because there's no way out. We might be through. Oh, 
halfway through. Oh, we're at the core core. No obvious way to interact with it. Oh, this might be an entrance. Oh. All right, here we go, here we go. This looks like the inside of... Okay. Step down. This looks like the inside of, uh... The orbital probe cannon. Let's see, what do I want to check out? We've got another, uh, projection... Stone thing over here. Oh, right. This floor, I keep... This floor can, uh... Hold you to its surface, so... Astrin projection. Let's read what's going on before we look... At whatever is on the other end of this projection stone. Yarrow, I have an exciting news privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Okay. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? From Yarrow. Privet says, we are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Okay, so I'm guessing that um, this Ash Twin project is basically like a server room or something for uh, this uh, probe tracking data. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe. So this is... The probe's looking for the Eye of the Universe? I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. You seem to have an awful lot of devices that are looking for the same thing. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about our cannon, this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Were they concerned that uh, someone on the crew was going to misuse the probe for some reason to to like fire probes at people or something. Asteroid projection stone. Let's see what this Whoa. Well that's not intimidating or creepy at all. can't even really tell what I'm looking at. Um, it almost seems like... Well, I'm not sure. Um, it almost seems like I'm in an O'Neill cylinder somewhere in space. But I could not tell you. And it's very poorly lit. Alright. Let's see what else we have. Any 
other stones? We have a stone here. Launch module. Projection stone. Imagine Privet from Mallow. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You will be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified, says Privet. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway. What do you need to harvest all this data for if you're only firing the probe once? So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Privet, I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be able to capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Uh, okay. So my guess is the data is probably lost then. So I wonder if there were two different uh, clans or sets of Nomai that were independently looking for the Eye of the Universe. Um, one of them through the locators and one of them through this uh, uh, probe tracking or uh, orbital probe cannon. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see what the other end of this looks like. It can't be any weirder than what we just saw. It looks to me, um, it looks to me like this is another one of the, uh, another room on the orbital probe cannon, because this is definitely Giant's Deep right here. But it does look like it's really busted up. I'm not even sure if this is going to be a room that we can eventually access or not, so let's see if there's anything here, any particular details that we need to make note of. There is a stone here. That might be something. Hmm. Other than that, I can't really can't really tell. All right. Is that everything here? I guess there's Okay, hang on. How am I See if I can jump up there, and I can. But don't go too far. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a trick. Let's just hop up. What? Okay. Okay, let's see what you do. Oh. Uh... It looks like Giant's Deep in the orbital probe cannon. Uh, zoom in on that. But this one's intact. And then we have... I have to assume that's the probe. Receiving data from probe 9,318,067. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9,318,067. I'm confused because it only said they could fire they said they could only fire the uh, cannon once was there did there was did something happen to the other probes before the cannon even fired maybe that was just like uh they were testing millions of probes before they actually got one right
Okay, looks like the same thing. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be the same thing. Oh no, there's... Like a full-on starburst here. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Okay. Number of probes launched, 9,318,067. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9,318,054. Is this the eye of the universe? Did they find it? With the, uh... With the probes they were launching? Okay, cooperate please. Let's keep going. Do you have anything else to tell me? Receiving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. These are the coordinates here. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to help me. Okay. I guess we have... Coordinates for the Eye of the Universe? You know, actually, I'm wondering if I need to write this down. Just because, uh... I don't want to have to come back here in order to figure that out. And it's possible it's a code or something from for some other part of the game. So, let me just uh, write down these shapes real quick. Uh, looks like an L, part of an hourglass shape. This L thing, the hourglass shape. And, like a weird looking N. Okay. Alright, I think... I think that's everything... here. I guess I'm a little confused by why these numbers didn't match. They found the... it says they found the... Uh, found the Eye of the Universe with one of their probes. Although I don't understand why they thought it could only launch once. I guess they might have underestimated their own equipment. They've launched this many probes. Okay, but one of the more recent probes found the Eye of the Universe. I guess that's how we interpret that. Okay. Alright. Honestly, I was expecting something more from a an area that was so difficult to get to. How am I supposed to get out of here? Nope, 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 nope. Just stay in the air. And then... There we go. Alright, let me back out. Uh... Right. The water. Alright, let's see what else is down here. While we still have the time.
Is this? Yeah. Uh, it looks like this is like directly on the South Pole on our mini map. So, let's head to our North. I keep floating upward, and it makes me a little worried about hitting the uh, hitting the electric shell. Okay, we almost were there. I keep going around it, let's just... Like, it should be right here. There's a big tree here. Is that something? It doesn't seem like there's much here to look at. Okay. Well, I'm at a loss. Hopefully there's nothing else down here that we need to look at, look for. Here comes the sun. Alright, I guess that'll end that video. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm not sure what we'll do next. I suppose we'll find out next episode.